Hello and welcome. My name is Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forge World and Games Workshop. I want to say a huge thank you to all of you subscribers and members and supporters of the channel, especially those that use the uh, Element Games affiliate link in the description of every video. Whenever you buy something uh, from Element, if you click on this link, purchase your goods, and then at the end put your Element Crystal code in, then you'll save yourself up to 20% off your Warhammer and gain double the amount of crystals, thereby supporting this channel and the content and everything that I do. You know who you are, so a big thank you to all of you that uh, continue to do this. Let's jump on in there then straight away with the Warhammer community uh, webpage. There's been a decent chunk of news over the past week. If we look back, uh, going back to like the 10th of uh, April, I had a look at the pre-orders last weekend uh, on the Saturday. Really enjoyed last weekend. Uh, I took a Monday off of work and that gave me a bit of a, a rest day. But the Saturday and the Sunday was jam-packed full of Curse City content. I did a live stream on Saturday night and then I did two whopping three hour live streams on the Sunday and I don't normally live stream on Sunday but I wanted to um, cover Curse City. The live streams are still available on the channel for free so if you want some company while you're building and painting your models uh, they are there just under the Warhammer live streams. If you want access to the other 50 or so uh, th three hour live streams then um, becoming a member for like two pound a month will give you access to all of those. Now, let's have a look from Saturday. So these were the pre-orders uh, that I went through, which included Alpharius, Head of the Hydra. Wish I'd picked that up. I'll probably pick it up sometime in the future. And to be honest, I've purchased many books uh, recently over the past few months, probably more books than, than ever. Uh, so I'm going to give myself a bit of break for, for Alpharius. No doubt I'll pick him up at some point. Horus Heresy, Siege of Terror, uh, Lost and the Damned. I enjoyed this book by Guy Haley, uh, but that was available in softback. Mortis has just come out on Thursday the 15th, I think it was, and that would be the fifth book, and this is the second. Um, there was also the map, maybe I'll get mine today, I don't know, it's all up in the air, um, but uh, this is a fantastic looking map uh, with imagery of uh, the Imperial Palace and uh, from the Sea to Terror. For 40k, they released a audiobook. The rest of the pre-orders was the uh, Warhammer Underworlds uh, box game. Uh, they've re-released this. You get a few minis there and some cards. And then a new uh, Underworlds uh, warband, uh, the Crimson Court. So you've got the vampires, Prince Duval. Hopefully I'll, I'll receive mine today and I'll uh, be able to give you a first look at these. Then there were some dice, uh, t-shirts, free game code, Blood Bowl, was Death Zone, and uh, some pitches and Spike Magazine, along with the Black Orc team, uh, available for the first time separately. Some dice, um, the Barons were also available separately, um, again with their dice, and some referees. And then the big, big daddy of them all of last week's pre-orders, but I am extremely biased, of course, uh, was Adeptus Titanicus uh, for the Horus Heresy, the largest Titan that they've ever produced for that game system. It's going to be knight size, if not bigger than a knight. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. Again, fingers crossed for me that I receive mine today and then I can um, give you a, a detailed unboxing and a full live stream uh, of this monstrous unit. Uh, also a uh, precept maniple battle force offering you so much value it's it's untrue um you've got the warlord the reaver the warbringer and two warhounds for 110 pounds i mean the warlord itself is 65 plus the warhounds which are 40 that's 105 pound you, you're practically getting the reaver and the nemesis for free um it was so good that i had to pick up uh one of these sets myself um that's a good thing though, because it's more content for you guys, and also uh, I was able to pick up a load of um, Forge World weapons. It's a shame that the Volkite weapons weren't available from Forge World just yet. I think they're now going to be uh, sold in June instead. I'm only a big fan of the Warhound version uh, of the Volkite. The others, 
I like less. Then the uh, Loyalist Legio's book, a huge book, not to be underrated. It's got about 170 pages or so. It's massive. Um, can't wait to give you a full uh, look at that. Then the rule book was released uh, singularly and White Dwarf. I did um, give you all a, an unboxing and first look at this month's White Dwarf. I do prefer this cover. I really do than the Seraphon. However, there's not that much Lumineth in the book anyway. Uh, so be that as it may. On Sunday, they announced uh, the pre-order for this weekend on Saturday the 17th being Bellacore. And uh, you will have seen my reaction on uh, the live stream on Sunday um, because I did that while uh, it was being announced. And uh, it seems like this channel just can't get a break right now from uh, Games Workshop new releases. We had the week of all of the Lumineth. Then we had Curse City. This weekend we've got Adeptus Titanicus and next weekend we've got uh, Bellacore. I, yeah, I'm I'm calling it right now. Most likely the week after will be Sisters uh, and then all the vampires and then I will really struggle to get hold of them. So again, I can't stress it enough that your help and your support in any way you can uh, will allow me to uh, cover all of them. So let's have a look at Bellacore himself then. Look at that. Absolutely amazing model. Cheaper than I expected. I know Games Workshop listens, but um, he was cheaper than I expected. I was expecting like 100 or just over £100. But uh, yeah, for the amount of detail and the customization and things, you can have Space Marine head helmets uh, hanging from the chains. You can have Slave to Darkness uh, Chaos Warrior there. You can have a Lieutenant on the base. I'm still undecided, like Chaos Undivided, I guess, uh, in terms of what to put on his base i'm not quite sure part of me wants to have him just chaos so he'll go well with uh, uh, all of the slaves to darkness and the chaos demons and that he can just swoop in and, and be a demon for for my chaos army but part of me also thinks well let's put a lieutenant on him and paint him in, in my colors and have him for my chaos space marines then we've had uh, a look at the broken realms book three i didn't quite expect that they'd bring out the book three two weeks after book two but they have and this one is Bellacore I think that this uh, soft touch limited edition um, version will be extremely popular today it's a lovely black and gold colour and matches my titans I hope I'm able to pick one up for you guys then you've got uh, two new heroes Gardas Steel Soul and Krulgast Cruciator they look quite decent um, but I don't collect those and uh, haven't got any models for them, so I couldn't really give you any comparisons if I did get them. Then you've got uh, four War Scroll Battalion boxes, uh, much like with uh, Marathi and Teclis. They they like doing this, uh, giving you a, a bundle of loads of minis uh, for a, a quite a nice reduced price. So you've got the um, Disciples of Sinch here, uh, all the horrors. You've got the uh, Seraphon uh, Stampede. You've got uh, Lady Olinda. If I was thinking about collecting Nighthaunt at one point, and that would have been uh, an excellent like um, additional force to bump up the numbers. And then we've also got the uh, Caradons as well. New from Forge World. Now, they did edit this a little bit um, because they were going to release the um, Falkite weapons. Um, yesterday for pre-order but they didn't do that and they edited this video pretty quickly and they're now coming out in June if you were interested but uh, at least this week um, from yesterday you could pick up uh, King Dane Ironfoot and Thorin the third Stonehelm um, so it's nice that they're still making models for Lord of the Rings and uh, The Hobbit new from like Black Library Inferno book six and Mortis that was released I think on Thursday um, I picked up my copy very very happy and uh, I just can't wait I'm ecstatic to read this book um, it's the largest out of all the Siege of Terror books so far and um, yeah it, I mean yeah it's got a huge Imperator class uh, Titan on it on the front so I, I can't really wait for that on Monday they had uh, a look at one of the new units for Sisters um, I think this is like what five the fifth or sixth um, new unit for sisters so it, it's it's gone from me thinking oh it's going to be a battle force and the palatine um to oh we've got the tank we've got the nundam we've got uh 
the other des desecrator we've got the sacrosense we've got the codex um the battle force you know we, we've actually going to have quite a decent selection of new units and a codex um for them i wonder if they're going to do that with mechanicus uh, or it's just going to be the marshal and the, the codex but what do you guys think of this model um it's got this uh pole arm uh with a, a shield with a bolt pistol i think it'll be um i like the shield looks a bit like a bit like a coffin uh in a way i don't know if anyone picked that up or maybe it's just the underside of a, of a baking tin um but the bolt pistol that's been done before you know almost 20 years ago space Marines have had bolt pistols on shields um as part of the the model range but uh nice to see that they get it here and i do like that that pole arm looks lovely Moving up, White Dwarf 463 is a painter's paradise. Yeah, there's lots of inspiration in uh, White Dwarf 463. Just type in White Dwarf April 2021 and uh, no doubt you'll probably find my video if you wanted to have a look at all of the pages um, before you spend your, your six pounds on, uh, on the magazine. Three ways you can start playing Warhammer 40k now. Um, so you've got these starter sets. This is in lieu of the Indomitus box set, which I don't think is available anymore but uh, these are good ways of, of bumping up your force especially the Necron Warriors side of things can't um, promote them enough uh, although they're not multi-pose they're, they're a multi-part kit you can have the two different weapon options and uh, yeah just a good way of bumping up your force and getting some scenery as well and then uh, they are promoting all the start collecting sets and the new combat patrols as you can see they now uh, have a fair number of them uh, with the Trakari being easily the best out of all them, them so far. Uh, Lord Croak has returned, so another, they seem to be doing this a lot now, which is great. Um, you know, highlighting the new models and things that are coming out. But uh, what do you guys think of this one? Uh, Lord Croak, uh, one of the strongest wizards in the mortal realms, might give Techless a run for his money. I must say that I did uh, like the the old model, um, but this model has a lot going for it, and there's so much detail. I mean, just look at that. That's incredible. That is, is going to be a joint paint as well for all of you Seraphon and Skink players out there. The Rumor Engine kind of looks like uh, Gene Stealer Cults. That has Gene Stealer Cults written all over it with some kind of charge or bomb. Um, it's definitely got the kind of exoskeleton and claws and things of Gene Stealer Cults. Um, so we'll, we'll see what that uh, comes up with. Uh, at a later date. Um, Adeptus Mechanicus, guns are deadlier than ever. This is a very interesting article um, showcasing how Mechanicus have become deadlier. 40k has become more shootier. I mean, you've got these galvanic rifles here that used to just be a rapid fire one and a strength four damage one and sixes, you get an AP of, of minus one. Now they are just straight up AP minus one and you also get two shots as well. And um, the arc weapons, they're now much better. They're a further range. They've got a better AP and the damage is, is statistically two, two or greater. And on vehicles, it's an instant damage three uh, and they wound on four plus. And that's fantastic against the, the vehicles with the high toughness. The Cognis weapons are brilliant. I mean, having a last cannon now that uh, is an assault two weapon is just mind blowing. I never even expected that that would happen, but it has. And also um, the destroyers have had a, a bit of an upgrade as well in terms of not having to um, you know completely ex explode and blow themselves up uh, with their plasma weapons and um, more on those later i think the codex is going to be great i think there's going to be a lot of uh, upgrades i only just wish um, games workshop would um, sort of embrace forge world a bit more and uh, well just create rules for mechanicum and um, that's all I'm asking. I'm not asking straight up, right, move all of the Mechanicum units into the new Mechanicus book. I'm not asking for that at all. Um, but uh, it would be cool if they had a codex or um, Forge World brought out some kind of book that had Mechanicum in 40k. They did it with uh, Custodes and I would put money on um, one of the reasons why people bought so many Custodes from Forge World is because of the 40k rules that they brought over. Seven Reasons Bellicor Doesn't Have Any Friends. Interesting little article. Um, bit of bit of lore, bit of story. Some lovely artwork. Um, yeah, doesn't have any friends at all. Underhive Informant. Uh, like fire, like worshipping the Emperor, then you're in luck. 
So a look at this, uh, the new gang, the Redemptionists. There they are. And they're coming out soon. Uh, it's called a fire pike, their, their weapons. AP minus two, nice. Um, Middle Earth, did you feature in our community showcase of mounted Middle Earth miniatures? So they had a little article showing showcasing these on the mounted heroes. That's cool, what is it? it? Really, really cool. Find out which armies are getting upgrades in the Broken Realms uh, Bellacor. So we get to look at the um, contents somewhat. Uh, you've got Chaos, Nighthaunt, Caradron, Overlords, Seraphon, Disciples of Zeech, Fire Slayers, and Stormcast uh, Eternals. The only one I'm really sort of... I don't collect any of those. So for me, it's a little bit um, of, a, of an odd one. Um, I'm just here for uh, the Dark Master. <laughs> But, um, you know, it does talk a little bit about Nurgle and uh, and corn, which, yeah, I'm yet to collect corn. Designer talks horns, skulls and massive wings as a, a nice article here um, that showcases um, all of the different um, versions that you can um, have of him. Um, and the different faces and the different skulls and uh, the different bases as well as the arm positions. This was a controversial article because for some reason people just thought this model was in plastic. Um, I, I'm not sure. It, the thing is, Forge World and Games Workshop, if this was made in plastic, they would be jumping up and down about it being made in plastic and the return of um, Horus Heresy in plastic. I've said it before in a, in a recent video that um, the Horus Heresy models now are a little bit cheaper than the plastic ones. I'm mainly drawing the conclusion from uh, Uriel Ventress being £22. I'm mainly highlighting that um, Uriel Ventress is £23 and the recently re released uh, Word Bearer's Praetor with the Bone Hawk is a little bit cheaper at £22 and has, yeah, arguably way more detail and 3D uh, depth to, to the model. For me at least, uh, and I'm not 100% on this, but for me at least, I believe this is still resin. There's quite a few... Um, reasons why I believe that and I'm just drawing upon my uh, experience from many many hundreds of Forge World Hand Games Workshop uh, miniatures uh, in terms of the the cutout for the barrel going a little bit deeper you don't get that on plastic and um, the the chains having no gaps whatsoever in there but being very very thin that's a uh, I've seen that happen many times on resin the amount of detail and the 3d depth of detail especially around the collar and these ridges as well um, and here, yeah, it's very, very difficult to get that done in, in plastic. Yeah, plastic-wise, you know, the, the cape-type cloak thing looks a bit plasticky. Um, the cape-type cloak thing, you could do that. Um, uh, but also the detail and the, the detail, the 3D detail underneath, and, and probably underneath that um, knee armour as well, suggests that it's still resin. We'll find out. Uh, Malagorst will be available at some point. I don't collect um, Lunar Wolves, so we'll have to um, wait and see. But uh, lovely looking model, uh, nonetheless. I won't be picking them up because I don't collect um, them. I don't collect every single Space Marine Legion, but um, yeah, I don't think we'll have too long to wait for him. Um, but having said that, we've waited a long time for the, for the uh, Praetors. Um, Meta Watch, Raiding Forces, the future of competitive Drakari play. You've got White Kings, more than just fancy bat hats. There was just a, a picture of the White King in that. Humble Bundle, new from Forge World. So we'll have a look at these very shortly. Um, a look at uh, both uh, Dane and uh, Thorin uh, Stonehelm as well. Cool looking minis. I love the beards. Fantastic. And then five of the galaxy's most efficient tech priests and a weird monkey. So you've got Belisarius Call, You've got Kelbor Hal. You've got Zagreus Kane, Arkan Land. Ud Udia Raskian. Uh, six of the best units in Broken Realms. So you've now got uh, the Dread Scythe Haradans, Crawl Gas Cruciator, Guard of Steel Soul, obviously the new models would, would be there, uh, Doom Seeker, and Grimwrath Berserker. Oh, and also Bellacor as well. 
I mean, look at that. You, you're getting his, his, uh, getting its war scroll almost with there. You're getting eight attacks there with a three to hit, three to wound. I would have thought that would have been a two plus to wound. Um, but yeah, he gets less attacks and he moves less. Um, and his spearing tail uh, takes longer to... It's is harder to wound anything um, the more damage he takes. I'll go into his uh, rules uh, in much more detail when he when he's released. Broken Realms marked for death. And you can download these um, little short stories for Broken Realms. And there you go. Quite a lot of news, really, uh, in the grand scheme of things. We've got everything from, um, you know, Deptis Titanicus at the start with the pre-orders. We've got uh, the 40k. We've got the new Battle Sisters, the White Dwarf. A load of articles about Bellacor and some from Forge World and a little bit about um, Adeptus Mechanicus. So without further ado, then, let's hop on over to Forge World and have a look at those uh, two dwarfs. So straight away, they are advertised on um, the, the front page. So are some of the weapons for Adeptus Titanicus, and I'm pleased that they did this. Um, you still got this, this usual banner. Yeah, it is odd that they've kind of shaded them black. Uh, it, maybe it would have been better to sort of highlight them, draw, draw a... Um, well, just draw a cutout around the weapons rather than just put them black. But there we go. Um, we'll just open that in a new tab and we'll go back to the uh, dwarves. Right. So King Dane Ironfoot and Thorin three or Thorin third Stonehelm. Twenty one pounds for these two. So they're ten pound fifty each. Fully resin. They've done well with the hair. They really have, and the beards. Yeah, really, really cool. And the hammers and the axes. Um, so yeah, they consist of seven resin uh, components. And they're all for... Oh, you can find uh, their rules in the downloads tab as well. So here we are. And therefore, Middle Earth strategy game or the Hobbit motion picture trilogy. So 130 points for him, for Ironfoot, the King under the mountain, and 120 points for Thorin. Pretty cool. I do like it when they always have the rules there for for brand new minis. Right, let's uh, have a little look at these Titan weapons because um, you may well have picked up your maniple today. And you're asking um, Super Saiyan, um, oh, Super, what kind of weapons and things should I be getting? Well, I am here to help. Uh, if we go to high to low, you've got a, a pack of them here for £60. Um, doesn't save you any money uh, from from getting them individually, which I think is odd from Forge World because usually they, because, uh, they, they normally do uh, save you a bit of money. Um, over buying them individually, but uh, nonetheless, um, the carapace weapons for the Warlord, you've got options here for uh, Gatling Blasters, Vulcan Mega Bolters, and Paired Turbo Laser Destructors. I'm not sure why you'd get those, other than the rule of cool. They, they do look quite cool, but the um, Reaver Laser Blasters are, are better. Um, the Gatling Blasters, uh, obviously very, very cool looking, uh, and uh, have a decent number of strong shots, whereas the Vulcan Mega Bolters are, are much more uh, short range and they have way, way more, more shots. Um, you've got two options for the, the main weapons for the Warlord. You've got the um, Macro Gatling Blaster and the Quake Cannon. Uh, it's odd that that's not called a Mori Quake Cannon, but it is. That is what it is. Um, and it's got this shield on the side, which I'm, I'm not a big fan of. I'd rather have that you know, be able to take that off or, or put it on. Um, I don't know why they've added this this thing on there. It's odd, but they have. Um, but anyway, they're £15 each, which means that's all of the weapons um, available for the Warlord because in plastic, you've got the Bellicosa Volcano Cannon, you've got the Sun Fury Plasma Annihilator, and you've got the Ariok um, Power Claw. Um, so they are the five weapons. Um, no doubt we'll get the Volkite weapon uh, at some point on Forge World and hopefully in the 28 mil scale too. For the Warhound, you've got the Natrix Shock Lance and the Ursus Claw. You can have both. Uh, the, the set for £11 contains both of them. Um, so don't think that you have to buy the so Shock Lance and the Ursus Claw. You get 
um, both and you may be able to magnetize them slightly um, to, to change this uh, you know the front weapon for the Reaver which I do think is overpriced is the is the warp missile rack and the um, Vulcan Mega Bolter um, they're both very small um, and only consist of like one or two parts um, for for your money but uh, again for the rule of cool um, that does look pretty awesome um, but uh, yeah too small in my opinion I think um, I'd still like 28mm version of it um, and I've also remember you've got the Volkite weapons coming for the Warhound and the, the Reaver so that was a little I just want to spend a little time on on the Adeptus Titanica side of things because um, you know the Maniples released today and you may be looking at um, bumping up uh, your weapons and uh, wanted to see what Forge World is offering now is time to have a look at Bellacore and all of the other pre-orders that are up today so let's uh fly on over to uh, Games Workshop web store. And here we are. There's a lovely uh, front page there of um, all of the pre-orders. You've got some tiles showcasing Mortis, Inferno, um, the Krulgast and Gardas Steel, along with, of course, Bellacore on the front um, next to a load of demons and a load of word bearers. This is pretty much what mine's going to look like. <laughs> In my head um then if we go next you've got this lovely um tile here with the special li limited edition uh, and the box sets for the mortal realms as well and the box sets uh, for the broken realms as well well at least three of them that is um and then uh, a little look at uh, the, uh, the underworlds and the uh, a little look at the warhammer underworlds um sets if we click show me everything show me what you got um it will show us hopefully when it loads there we go uh, all of the pre-orders um we'll view all we'll go high to low and we'll filter these out for your uh, viewing pleasure so the titanicus um models were up for pre-order last weekend but this is the guy himself bellacore the dark master 89 pounds the first and greatest of the demon princes powerful fighter who can unleash arcane powers can be used in either Warhammer Age of Sigmar or Warhammer 40,000. That's what sets him apart, really. It's a big plastic demon that can be used in both game systems. Obviously, you know, the Great Unclean One and the Keeper of Secrets and the Lord of Change can be used in 40k too under the Demon's Armies. But, um, yeah, this is like a, a big demon prince. If you weren't aware what he looks like, I'm going to put an image just here on the left uh, of um, the, you know, the previous model. And as you can see, it's a huge overhaul. Um, you know, the wings are massive. It's got this flaming sword. You've got a, a, a couple of options of bases. And um, here he is next to a fury. Yeah, look, at, let's have a look, a little closer look here. So he's on this amazing looking base. Uh, you've got a, a Slaves to Darkness Chaos uh, Warrior there. He's uh, pointing in that pose. But you can also have him just like a challenge with his arms down and his tongue out. I think I might uh, go for that pose. Um, and you can have him with a, a Primaris Lieutenant. Yes, I know, I know. The memes are coming in thick and fast. This is a brand new Space Marine Primaris Lieutenant model. And it includes a free uh, demon prince. Yeah, look at that. That looks so cool. I mean, obviously the paint job is just stupendous, of course. I still haven't decided, guys, whether to have him with the um, Slaves of Darkness or the Primaris um, base. Because I kind of want to use him for both Age of Sigmar on 40k. I might just have um, both of these uh, models off uh, instead. But they are so cool. And um, yeah, it has been spotted. Um, thanks, Bob. It is a uh, two sprue, so not two sprue techless, but two sprue Bellacore um, for £89. Games Workshop did this not that long ago. They had one sprue for the Royal Court, I think it is, for the um, Space Marines Primaris. Essentially, all the uh, some of the models from the Indomitus set, they released that one sprue for £89. At least this, at least this time, you're getting two. But it does make the Warmaster uh, Titan at £95 for four sprues look like quite a good deal. Um, let's not also forget that um, the Shard of the Void Dragon was £68 for one sprue. That model is no longer the most expensive model for, for just one sprue. And there's his box. 
the Dark Master. So they've gone for they've gone for the Age of Sigma uh, on the front, which is fair enough. Would have been cool if they had the 360 version for the um, Primaris as well, uh, because for the Primaris version, which they only kind of show there, you can put some Space Marine helmets on the wings, and they don't really show that in these pictures. Bit of a missed opportunity. I think they they should have had 360 for both, but ah oh well, there we go. It looks amazing. Um, definitely uh, pre-ordered him already. Uh, hopefully he'll come next weekend. These are the um, box sets. You do save a considerable amount uh, on these. So you've got the Celestial Stampede, eighty pounds here um, for Seraphon, and a, a War Scroll uh, is included. Um, you get these uh, three. Um, you get two uh, Stegodons and one Bastilodon. Um, there. Um, so if you're thinking about uh, starting an army, this will give you three huge dinosaurs. I tell you what, guys, I'm so tempted. I'm that close. Much like with the Osiart Bone Reapers, I'm so so close at starting these. Um, you you wouldn't believe. You've got the Sorrow Morn Choir at fifty five pounds. You have Lady Olinda Mortark of Grief. I want to call her Lady Oleander, but no. Um, Ten Dread Scythe Harridans and eight. Mermorn Banshees. So there you go. And then the Atra Zan's uh, Blazing Cal Cavalcade, £50. This seems like a good deal too. To. You're saving a bit of money here. And um, you know, you can never have enough uh, pink horrors, blue horrors, and and brimstone horrors because they keep like splitting into different ones um, but uh, yeah lovely 50 pound there and finally the Caradron overlords 50 pound for the Dr drongons aether runners you get one endrin master and six endrin riggers bellacore limited edition 50 pounds here it, it's the same price guys you know um all of the limited editions are all 50 pounds um for these um like war scroll for these like battle tome type books um, what you're getting with your £50 that's double the price is a lovely top, soft touch cover, a different cover, a page keeper, the um, gold page edges, um, and uh, it is numbered as well. This one is uh, limited to £700, um, so all of that adds to the extra price. Still made in China, uh, they all are, all of, these, um, all of their books, but um, only 112 pages. Yeah, I'm. That's about my limit now. I I think anything less than uh, 100 pages, I, I'm not really gonna entertain. I, I just hope that the um, sob like grave lords will be over the 100 page mark. Um, but uh, it's more satisfying in my opinion when you've got a thicker book, uh, much like the Lumineth Realm Lords book two, and it's a special edition, or even the uh, you know Codex Necrons. Um, for me, it's it's just more satisfying having a, a thicker special edition book for the fifty pounds, like hundred and fifty to two hundred pages, as opposed to only a hundred. That cover art is probably one of the best cover arts I've ever seen from um, Games Workshop, and Age of Sigma are just doing a fantastic job with all of their art. It, it's just incredible um, what they're pumping out right now uh, compared to forty k. Then you've got the Underworld Starter set for £40. Um, the map was sold out last weekend. That was a pre-order. So were all of these up to uh, the Broken Realms Bellacore book. It's um, got it's got the same number of pages, um, but loses out on the, the fancy soft touch, the page edges and the um, page keeper. Um, but then you've also got the Warhammer Underworld's Die Chasm, Crimson Court. Um, that was up for pre-order last weekend. And that is interestingly out of stock um that gives me a an indication of just how popular these um vampires are going to be this is up for pre-order today though cruel gas the cruciator 23 pounds 50 it is for a night haunt um I like how he's kind of sucking the soul out or the energy out of this um skull it's got a load of uh, tools um consists of 11 components on a 40 millimeter base You've got the downloads there and you've got his rules. 
uh, if you wanted to have a look, which is fantastic. And it's, yeah, why can't 40k have this? You know, um, Age of Sigmar have the battle tomes, they have the Broken Realms expansions, um, they have rules in books, and their books are better now. There's there's just no um, comparison anymore, uh, and yet they still give you this online. If they can do this for Age of Sigmar, they can certainly do it for 40k, and um, it frustrates me that uh, that they are, choos are choosing not to at the moment. Um, £23.50 for Guard of Steel Soul. Again, um, this is uh, a hero for the Lord Celestant of the Hallowed Knights, uh, all citizens of order. Um, consists of 15 uh, part components, and again, there are his rules right there. Fantastic. You've got the pre-order for, for Mortis um, right here for £20. Uh, you can pack, pick it up uh, again from Element, I, I believe, for a discount. Um, please do use my affiliate link code, of course, help the channel out, and you also get a discount, and then on top of that, you get your W... Um, crystals uh, and on top of that you're getting your double crystals which you can use to spend on on future purchases but uh, I've picked up this uh, Mortis book and um, I got mine on Thursday and it's the thickest out of all of them I think it's just over 550 pages and um, looks amazing I really can't wait to get into it and the final pre-order is just the Inferno book uh, book six uh, in paperback for $8.99 so there you go um, a bit of a, uh, a breather in terms of uh, new releases this weekend, we've only got really um, the Broken Realms box sets, Bellacore and, and his book. Um, we were meant, and the and the two dwarfs from uh, uh, the Hobbit from Forge World. We were meant to have uh, the Adeptus Titanicus Volkite big weapons for the Titans, but that's been pushed back a little bit. Um, Going to be really interesting. Every I say this every Saturday, but um, tomorrow, the Sunday, is going to be another interesting one to see if Games Workshop are going to push it even further with all of these weekly releases. They really have been hammering us all um, with these. Hats off to you and um, congratulations if you don't collect any of these armies that they've been releasing models for. Um, but for me, at least, it's for, but for me and the channel, it's been unrelenting. I kind of expect tomorrow they'll announce all of the sisters releases but we could have a break or they could dive into um soul blight grave lords but i would hazard a guess that we're willing more towards sisters um they could have a break and just release the adeptus mechanicus um codex and new model but we'll see um so tune back so check out the uh, community website tomorrow at around about six o'clock and uh, we'll find out I'm now going to go away and uh, prepare all of the other videos from today, all of the new releases. So wish me luck. Your support is very much welcome. I'll be in the live stream later on uh, today from 7 o'clock, building the uh, Warmaster Titan. So please join me there. What do you guys think of uh, the pre-orders today? And uh, Bellacore, have you picked them up? Please do put that in the comments below. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.